Hey everybody, I'm Steve, and this is Maggie. Welcome to Heat My Shorts. First of all, I wanted to give a shout out to Ace Morrow. I was just talking to Ace on Messenger, and they've been making tinctures for a bit, and wants to let all of you know that Ace is making tinctures, and selling tinctures. So, I will leave a link to Ace Morrow on Instagram and on Facebook so that you can get a hold of Ace Morrow. Um, they're actually going to be sending a bottle. Uh, they sent a bottle over to the Maniacal Matt, and Matt did uh, a review, a drop on his channel. Uh, so you should go check that one out, and uh, I'm going to be doing a drop on this channel as well for comparison when I get a bottle of it that Ace is going to be sending up here. So. Thank you, Ace. You're awesome. Um, second of all, I wanted to give a shout out to Debbie Bartram in the UK. Uh, Debbie sent something very cool over here from Hot Sauce Fanatics in the US. Uh, I'm not sure where, where she ordered it from, but she sent a very hot, cool hot sauce for us to review on the channel here. Um, it's called Come to the Dark Side of the pepper. I'm sure you know that what that's a reference to if you look around this home at all. So Debbie, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to be telling too much information about this one right now. I'm not going to be reviewing it right now either. I just wanted to share all of you with all of you how cool that is. So let's get on to the review here. Today we're going to be reviewing Secret Aardvark Habanero Hot Sauce. I'll give you a close-up of the label first. I always do that. I always sit down before, uh, and then there's some things to go over up close to the camera. Um, so Secret Aardvark. Uh, it's made in Portland, Oregon. Make you head out a big sigh. <laughs> I really dig the label. The big funny blue Aardvark just sucking the hot sauce right out of the bottle there. That's hilarious. Uh, other, than, other than the silly logo, it's just a very simple Lego. Uh, Lego. <laughs> Label, uh, you can tell where mine, my mind is at. Hey, I want to build some Lego. <laughs> um, just the red stripe, the yellow lighter, let, lettering. I'm having trouble with my words this evening. Actually, I'm having trouble um, today in general. Uh, I've, I, this is probably take five on this one, and uh, just been having trouble getting motivated to do that as well. But we're doing this. We're going to leave these bloopers in, and we're going to keep it going. <laughs> We're gonna have fun doing it. That's the fun thing about it. Um, so I'm going to read the little. There's a, they have a little write up here. The flavor that kicks you in the mouth. I like that. Not your usual hot sauce. A unique Caribbean Tex mess Tex Mex. My apology. Hybrid, made with flavor flavorful habanero peppers and roasted tomatoes. Dump on everything. The secret aardvark compels you. That's great. I really like that. Made in the USA, secret aardvark trading company, Portland, Oregon. Shake well. Shaky shake. That's what we call it around here. Um, read you the ingredients here. Tomatoes, consisting of tomatoes and fire-roasted tomatoes. Tomato juice, citric acid, and calcium chloride. Keep track of where I am here. This is quite the list. White wine vinegar, carrots, water, yellow onion, habanero pepper, sorry, habanero chili pepper, consisting of habanero chili peppers, water, salt, and citric acid. Mustard, consisting of distilled vinegar, water, mustard, seed, salt, turmeric, and spices. Organic cane sugar, salt, modified food starch, garlic, sunflower oil, herbs and spices. Contains mustard. I really like that this is a squeeze bottle with a flip top. That's really neat to me. And I think at this point I will have a seat because I do have a white carpet underneath me. You know what? It's funny I didn't bring... Oh, I do have a pocket knife. I was going to say I didn't bring one because I didn't think I'd need one, but I do have one on me. I, I almost always have a pocket knife on me. You never know when you might need one. Wow, 
Wow, this uh, this foil seal on the top is the real deal. I don't even want to taste my finger yet, to be honest. Oh well, you didn't see that. I've had this sauce before, to be honest. I think, uh, no, I said that on a previous take. Um, this is the second bottle that I that we've gone through here. I actually bought this one, no, I bought the first one a while ago because of an Instagram reviewer called Lego My Fuego 666 on Instagram did a review of this one and just the way that she talked it up and um, talked about the ingredients and the profile and the spice and everything about it just really intrigued me and I knew I had to try it so um, I was lucky enough to find this at Fresh's Best Salsa Company in Kamloops. That's where you can buy this locally. Um, or I will leave a link to the uh, to the website, which I believe is the is secretartwork.com. I believe it's on there somewhere. I will leave. Uh, oh yeah, I have it written there on my notepad. Luckily, um, I'll leave a link to that website in the description box down below as well. So. Of course, I will not be tainting my secret aardvark. I will be using my Chase the Heat Mother of Pearl Johnny Scoville hot sauce tasting spoon. Uh, you can get this from johnnyscoville.com. I will leave a link to that website as well in the description box down below. And let's stand back up and give it a pour. Really nice, slightly chunky, but like relishy kind of syrupy. Yeah, slightly thicker than a syrup. Like a relish almost consistency. Look at the color of it. Isn't that a beautiful colored sauce? Getting some really nice natural light through here right now. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a really nice looking sauce. Caribbean Tex-Mex, Tex why do I keep saying that? Tex-Mex style sauce. Something that simple should not be a tongue twister, but it's been a, one of those days. <laughs> Secret Aardvark Habanero Hot Sauce. Heat my shorts. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. The tomatoes come through really nicely on that. That's the first ingredient. The habanero, the unique sting of the habanero, comes through really nicely on that as well. Really dig the squeeze bottle. The mustard, yep. reading the ingredients and kind of feeling for each ingredient as I taste it. Well, yeah, definitely garlic. Mmm. And that, um, cumin? Is there cumin in this? It's gotta be, it's gotta have cumin in this. Cumin and turmeric. You can taste those for sure. I'd say without, with, without a doubt, being a Tex-Mex style sauce. It's got little chunks of what must be tomato in there as well. Little, little, I don't want to say tiny, but little chunks. Wow. It's really good. Um, talk about the heat on it. Hmm. I don't think it moves my needle. If it moves my needle, it's a, it's a 0.5. Like, I can tell that, I can tell there's that, that signature sting of a habanero in there that's just right on the tip of my tongue, and it's just very mild, very enjoyable. Um... If you like spicy food, you're probably find this to be a 2 or 3 out of 10. 
you're new to this, you could find this to be could just find this to be a four or five out of ten on your heat scale. Um, things to pair this with: chicken wings, burritos, tacos, pizza, pasta, pork, pork ribs, hot dogs, nachos, rice dishes. You can honestly do so much with this sauce. They said something about that. Put this, yeah, dump on everything. Honestly, pretty much. I'd put it on an ice cream as well. Be good. Or, yeah, I mean, the Tex Mex spices might be a little weird, but if you put it on a vanilla, I think it would be really good. Will we buy this again? Yeah, I think so. But I think uh, we need to use up some of our hot sauces in our collection before we start stocking up on this one again. Um,. Really great sauce, though. I really dig this sauce. Great job, Secret Aardvark. I'd like to try some of their other sauces as well, actually. I've tried, we've tried this one twice now. Um, and I got this one again because I knew I liked it. But I think after this one, maybe we'll even try one of their other ones before stocking up on this one again. So make sure you hop on over to secretardvark.com and uh, browse their selection. Um, if you're in Kamloops... Check out Fresh is Best, and um, they have, I think they actually even have three of their Secret Aardvark sauces stocked up there. So definitely worth checking out Fresh is Best for your hot sauce collection. I um, also want to throw another huge thank you to Debbie Bartram for the sauce that we will be reviewing sometime in the next few weeks. I'm really stoked about that. And... Big shout out to Ace Morrow for chatting earlier and just being an enjoyable person and uh, sharing sharing with everybody, um, keeping the community going. Um, I want to thank every one of you that's taken the time to watch these videos. I appreciate every one of you. I love every one of you because I wouldn't be doing this if you weren't watching the videos. Um, I hope you're all having a great week. It's Wednesday today. Hope the rest of the week is good to you as well. Um, I also want to wish my niece a happy birthday. Um, we won't use names because she's underage and I don't have permission really. So I want to wish my niece a happy birthday. Uh, I love you very much. Uncle Steve loves you. Um, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, have a great evening. This has been another episode of Heat My Shorts with Steve and Maggie. We will chat again soon. Bye-bye.